Shoshana Tova. Happy Rosh Hashanah. I am a homeschooling mama of a one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11 year old. And this is how we celebrate the Jewish feast. Shana, it is year 5782 on the Jewish calendar. And we are Christians, but we celebrate the feast because we believe they have meaning and mysteries and they unlock secrets that we as Christians should know. Today is the Feast of Trumpets, which is a celebration that foreshadows the coming of God, the returning of Messiah, Jesus. And we are excited to explore that and blow the shofar and just enter into the presence of God and just get excited about the fact that he is soon coming again. And it is a time of just prayerfully looking into your past year and asking for forgiveness and looking into your new year and celebrating all that God has ahead for you. Um, in Hebrew, each number represents a word and a picture. And this is year 5782. And if you look into that, each word picture in the number is beautiful and exciting things. And we are just excited for God's new year. So we will be having a, a dinner that we the night before. We will be celebrating the new year with good food and family. I recommend several books, but this one, Celebrating Jesus and the Biblical Feast, there is a lot of insight in here to um, the Passover, unleavened bread, for what first fruits is, Pentecost trumpets, atonement and tabernacles. A good little insight into all of it. Here's another one that I like: unlocking the secrets of the feast, the prophecies in the feast. That is really exciting as well. It's by Michael Norton. That's a good one. So that. And guys, we're gonna, I'm going to be reading this to my children, and I love this book series. I cannot recommend it more. This is my favorite books, <laughs> period, like adult or children. They are good. They present information to your children or adults in such an amazing way. This one is for Rosh Hashanah. Okay, Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. Okay, spoiler the very big surprise is the fact that Jesus is coming back again really soon. <laughs> um, it is just such a beautiful book. Um, I just get this book. Seriously. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on the Christian bookstore. It is just beautiful. And I collect this series, so there are all kinds. This one's for Rosh Hashanah, but they're so good. I have, all, I have all of them. I think there's 10 out right now and I'm always looking for a new release. I'm like, please, please come out with another one. This one, The God Contest. So good, oh my goodness. Um, the One O'Clock Miracle. This one, Goodbye to Goodbyes. Mm, very good. This one, the, pr the Prisoners, the Earthquake, and the Midnight Song. And... Jesus in the lion's den and the storm that stopped. Guys, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. They are well written, gorgeous pictures. They will teach your children powerful concepts that they will remember. Um, they have recently come out with, again, Amazon and Christian bookstores where I have seen them. They've recently come out with the workbooks that go with the book. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, they're just they're just fun um they have coloring pictures and mazes and all the things um that just kind of bring all those concepts home and i am excited on rosh hashanah to have my children around the table and coloring and doing the little projects and crafts and reading the story to them i've also picked up the garden the curtain and the cross Yay! so that's a good one too and we are learning about because here's two ends to it, right? God is circular. He's not linear. You know, we do A to Z, but God, he goes in a circle. So it all started in the garden. It's all going to end with a big surprise. And so I might be doing these two both on Rosh Hashanah. So we will see. <laughs> um, um, 
and we're not going to be super traditional in this. I mean, it is traditional to have fish. We're going to have salmon and some beautiful things with it, a good dessert. I'm looking at my menu over here. Um, it's traditional in Rosh Hashanah to have sweet things to celebrate the sweetness of the new year. Apples and honey are traditional and decorating with pomegranates because that's the forbidden fruit. Um, so things like that. Um, I'm making, making a banana cheesecake. <laughs> that's not traditional, but that's on my menu. So we're going to have a banana cheesecake. I'm also going to be making a challah and on Rosh Hashanah, the challah is circular. Um, other, other celebrations and feasts, the challah is um, a loaf, but again, circular to remember that God is circular and soon coming. So circular challah, I'm actually going to be baking that after I make this video and, um, or after I talk to you here, cause it'll probably be on the video. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be baking that in a second. Um, and then we will be having, um, a big dinner on Rosh Hashanah. So just lots of good food, sweet treats to celebrate the sweet year and to talk about the soon coming return of Jesus. So we're excited about that. We might be making a honey cake as well for tomorrow. We will see. <laughs> so guys, that is all just a little bit of tradition and a little bit about the feast to put into our homeschool to teach my children um, about the mysteries of God and to get them exciting, excited about the soon coming return of Jesus. today. Shana Tova. Happy Rosh Hashanah. I hope you are having a lovely time with your family together. Until next time, thank you for coming. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.